Thank you, Anandam, and I uh, want to thank our Master Permanent Representative for joining us also. Uh, namaskar and good morning. As you are aware, uh, the Prime Minister just addressed uh, the high-level segment of the 76th uh, United Nations General Assembly. This is uh, the, on the theme uh, the general, of the General Assembly's uh, debate, which is uh, building resilience to hope to recovery from COVID-19, rebuild sustainably, respond to the needs of the planet, respect the rights of people, and revitalize uh, the United Nations. Um, prior to his address, uh, the Prime Minister was greeted by the President of the General Assembly, Mr. Abdullah Shahid. Uh, you would recall that uh, the President of the General Assembly visited India on the uh, 21st of August, uh, excuse me, uh, on the 24th of July, and uh, he had at that time called on the Prime Minister. Uh, the Prime Minister, when he met the President of the General Assembly um, after he assumed office, he has just assumed office recently, congratulated him on his presidency of hope. Uh, the message of the Prime Minister was very well received, his congratulatory message, and I am told that uh, there was very positive resonance on this uh, concept of uh, the presidency of uh, hope. Uh, you are aware that uh, the, uh, the Prime Minister's address at the General Assembly marks the culmination of a very successful, a very comprehensive tour of the United States. Uh, the Prime Minister was in Washington, D.C., uh, where he held a bilateral meeting uh, with uh, the U.S. President, President Joe Biden. Uh, he also met uh, Vice President Kamala Harris. Uh, he participated in the meeting of the Quad Leaders Summit, which was attended uh, uh, by the Prime Ministers of Japan and Australia, hosted by the President of the United States. And he also separately had meetings with his counterparts from Japan and Australia, uh, in Washington, he met a number of uh, CEOs of major U.S. corporates. Uh, so all in all, it has been a, a short but very, very uh, comprehensive, very useful uh, and uh, um, uh, visit, which allowed for extensive high-level interactions. Uh, his address in the United Nations, which you would have heard, uh, has focused uh, on uh, some important themes. Um, the first theme, of course, was that... Uh, uh, democracies uh, uh, can deliver, democracies have delivered. The Prime Minister spoke about uh, an array of uh, flagship programs and initiatives in India that have delivered very successfully uh, to hundreds of millions of our citizens, uh, whether it is uh, in the aspect of uh, enabling them to enter into the banking sector by allowing people to open bank accounts, whether it is in terms of participating in uh, health schemes that provide for uh, quality uh, health uh, services to a very large number of our people, uh, health insurance, uh, low-cost housing for millions of our citizens being converted from landless to landowners, as the Prime Minister said. Uh, also, um, very strong emphasis uh, that the Prime Minister laid on um, this issue of technology. Technology has delivered for us. We have used uh, technology in uh, very many areas of our developmental activity that has enabled us to reach out uh, to uh, people uh, in all uh, parts of the country, every segment of society. And that, I think, has been a very important message uh, that has been conveyed. Uh, he also drew the analogy of our efforts in the health sector. Health is an overriding priority, obviously, in the uh, general discourse in the United Nations uh, at this point of time. Uh, the Prime Minister spoke about our use of technology in the health sector, uh, especially with regard to the ability to uh, uh, immunize uh, hundreds of millions of our citizens uh, um, in the COVID-19, in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, through the COVID platform, uh, which is one of the finest, most, uh, uh, I would say, um, uh, well-conceived uh, digital platforms. Uh, you would recall that when COVID uh, was introduced to uh, the international community through the COVID global conclave, 142 countries participated. It has been put uh, as an open source uh, digital platform available to countries around the world. Uh, the Prime Minister also uh, spoke about the success of our vaccination program. Uh, 800, 800 uh, plus million plus of our citizens have already uh, received vaccination doses. Uh, we are looking at uh, accelerating this, and the Prime Minister emphasized the fact that 
uh, the success of this uh, entire enterprise was also based uh, on uh, on the organizational aspect of it, including Coven, of course. Um, uh, and of course, uh, the fact that we have today uh, come out with cutting edge technologies. We have our indigenous vaccines. We also have developed a DNA vaccine, which will be introduced for children, which is a touch vaccine. Uh, we have come up with mRNA technology. So we are also at the cutting edge of vaccine development and Prime Minister referred to India as a manufacturing hub for vaccines uh, for, for the entire world. In that context, of course, he spoke of the fact that we had uh, announced uh, our uh, decision to uh, uh, again recommence uh, exports of uh, vaccines from month, month of October. Again, this is ex extremely well received uh, in the UN and the international community. Um, the Prime Minister spoke of global value chains uh, in the context of Atman Edward Bharat. Uh, resilient supply chains that we are developing. Uh, uh, important emphasis was given on climate change, in which the Prime Minister pointed out that we ourselves had uh, unilaterally gone in for a 450 gigawatt target by 2030. Uh, we were ahead uh, in terms of meeting our expectations in the Paris Agreement, and that uh, if we were to uh, uh, if we were to look at uh, the gains that we would make uh, in addressing the issue of climate change, it is because we have to answer the future generations. Uh, and, he's, and the Prime Minister pointed out that we were, uh, it was important for us to ensure that we do the right thing now so that uh, uh, our future generations don't question the fact that uh, uh, we hadn't done enough uh, to make uh, our planet uh, both sustainable environmentally and, and uh, something that is uh, enduring. Um, we, um, I think, again, when you talk about technology, the, the Prime Minister talked about science-based rational thinking applied to development. I think that is an important factor that uh, science and technology have uh, dictated how we can best uh, um, provide uh, our development gains to as many of our people as possible, as effectively and as cost-effectively as possible also. Uh, and uh, he also talked about, from that point of view, the uh, the development of incubators, a startup culture, um, the um, importance and promise of innovation among the youth of India, um, the um, development of satellites, 75 satellites uh, to commemorate uh, our 75th uh, anniversary of independence. Uh, so um, on, on international issues, you would uh, have noticed the Prime Minister referred to the most pressing issue of today again, which is the topic of conversation of almost every head of state and government that has spoken at the United Nations, the situation in Afghanistan. Uh, he said that uh, uh, countries uh, using terrorism as a tool uh, should note that this is a double-edged sword. I think that's a very important point to make, that you cannot uh, think of uh, um, encouragement to terrorism because that can come back to uh, bite you. Uh, in the context of Afghanistan, the, the Prime Minister referred to uh, uh, the fact that uh, the uh, um, plight of uh, women, uh, children, minorities should not be forgotten, that these basic uh, human rights uh, of uh, people of Afghanistan uh, are important. Uh, they need the help of the international community, and it was incumbent on the international community to come forward uh, to uh, speak in one voice on some of these issues uh, that are uh, important to all of us. Um, the Prime Minister did speak about the fact that we shouldn't abuse our natural resources. This is a legacy for uh, the future. Uh, this is a trusteeship uh, of nature that has been bestowed on us, uh, that uh, our culture uh, does, uh, uh, um, Indian culture and ethos is, is one that is close to nature, that we live in harmony with nature, and that is something that's important in today's context of uh, dealing with climate change, uh, dealing with some of the environmental uh, issues that we face uh, uh, globally. Um, and uh, and we, he also spoke about the UN Security Council, uh, in, in particular our contribution to uh, uh, the issue of maritime security in the UN Security Council. As you know, we were uh, held the presidency of the Security Council, a very successful presidency. Uh, our uh, permanent representative has, uh, um, has, uh, taken, uh, has to take a great amount of that credit for a presidency that outlined and shaped uh, thinking uh, in, in many new areas, uh, the highlight of which was the Prime Minister's uh, chairing uh, the 
open debate to the Security Council on the issue of maritime security. This is the first time an Indian Prime Minister has chaired a meeting of the UN Security Council. It's also the first time India has, uh, uh, or any country for that matter, has uh, uh, successfully steered a UN uh, Security Council uh, um, uh, debate on uh, the issue of maritime security and come up with uh, an with outcome document which today is being referred to by many countries uh, as being the guiding, uh, I would say, uh, principles on this issue. Uh, we also, of course, focused on the issue of uh, technology and peacekeeping, the issue, important issue of counterterrorism. Uh, and uh, and uh, in that context, of course, when we talk about international issues, issues uh, that are important to uh, the global community, the Prime Minister referred to uh, the COVID-19 uh, and its origins, uh, the case uh, of uh, the ease of doing business. I think that's important when we talk about uh, the need for greater investment and uh, technology flows. Uh, the issue of good governance. Uh, he called upon the UN to provide a global order, global law, and global values. Uh, I think if you look at uh, the statement, uh, one or two things become apparent. Uh, the first, of course, is that uh, you know India, by its own developmental paradigm and the success of its uh, developmental uh, efforts, is really, uh, in many senses, providing uh, development to uh, the entire world, because uh, we represent one-sixth of humanity. Uh, our development, our progress, uh, our success is, is the world's success. Uh, the second, of course, is the intention to share uh, with the international community our best practices, our experiences. And in that context, uh, the, the Prime Minister referred uh, to the global common good and the fact that uh, India uh, has uh, always um, uh, looked to uh, seeing how we could uh, um, both support and assist uh, the larger global community in whatever we do. Um, and in that context, of course, uh, technology and uh, other issues were uh, important uh, in terms of focus. Uh, and um, of course, uh, when we talk about uh, uh, development, uh, then uh, we talk about several models uh, of development. I did give you some examples uh, in terms of COVID, in terms of vaccine uh, development uh, that can also be uh, successfully shared with the rest of the world. Uh, and uh, that, I think, was uh, the larger theme of what we uh, spoke about. Um, the, um, uh, of course, uh, you know, the PM's address helped us to project our long-standing growing credentials uh, as a South-South development partner in the context of the India-UN Development Partnership Fund. Uh, here again, uh, uh, I think important uh, uh, steps have been taken to see how we can work with the UN in, in an outreach uh, that would enable some of our developmental successes and, uh, and models that we have evolved uh, um, within our country uh, to be shared as effective uh, and cost-effective practices that can be adopted elsewhere in the world. Um, financing for development, our commitment to the idea of global partnership under SDG 17, including on climate change.